What is up guys? My name is Eo Jones and welcome back to the Office of Now. Today's video, I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on what to do when your standard chartered visa card or debit card gets expired. Now, you don't need to wait for this your card to get expired before you renew it because this might worry you from making uh, future transactions and it is going to take a very long time actually for your card to be renewed. So just follow the tutorial and watch the video to the end so that your standard chartered visa card or debit card can be renewed. <music> To renew your Visa card from Standard Chartered, I think this method that I'm going to show you here today, it works for all the banking platforms, so it's not really Standard Chartered. Now, we have two options on how to renew your Visa card or debit card from Standard Chartered or any banking platform here in Ghana. First option is that if any of these banking platforms, including Standard Chartered, which I'm making a video about, has a mobile application like the SC Mobile app, then you are good to go. You can easily renew your card from the app. So I'm going to show you how to do it in this tutorial. Now the next option, which is option two, is that you need to visit the banking office for the renewal of the card if the mobile application for that specific bank or standard chartered is failing you. So I'm going to take you through the steps on how to do it with standard chart. And I think this works for all the banking platform. So if step one doesn't work for you, which is accessing or renewing your card with a mobile application, you move on to the banking office or any of the nearest banking office respectively. Okay, so to first do this, you need to open the standard chartered application and then here you just log in into your account. So I'll use the touch ID to log in. So once we're on this page, we click the three dots, um, the three lines at the top there and then we go to service request. So once you're in service request, you head on to the bottom of the page and you select card management. So once you do this, you are going to go to apply for a new debit card or Visa card. Now you only do this when you don't want your old expired card again, right? So you should only do this when you do not want your old card again. If you want the new card to be renewed, then you go to the standard chartered office and you are going to or branch and they are going to explain to you how to do things. I have no card being as part, so they are not giving me any option right here. But if your card is as part, I think you get an option here for you to continue with the whole process. Your card will be sent to you to your local post office after you are done with the whole process. You see, it says no results found because I have no card as part. My card, or all of my cards on standard chartered are active. So if you don't get the option here to continue, then you move to the nearest standard chartered branch in your community. So that was the first step you need to take using a mobile banking um, application if the bank has it. And Standard Chartered has a mobile banking application, so you can do this from your phone, right? And if it doesn't work for you or if you don't get the option to renew it, you visit the nearest Standard Chartered branch to renew your card. Now, I'll leave a link in the description to a page where you need to follow some steps or what you need to know before you visit the branch here in Ghana or any of the banking platform in which you are signed up to. And when you visit the link that I'll leave in the description, the page looks like this and it's very simple to understand. You need to visit the branch and do some sort of instructions that they request from you. So I'll leave a link in the description to that page um, as well. And then you learn from the page and you visit the branch. So I said that I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace.